I like it. I like it a lot. I made that look very easy, but I think it was more look than judgment. Absolutely no difference. Right, here we go. First time shooting the Beretta DT11 Sporting. I've got a quarter and a half twiddled into the gun. I'm going to start off with a nice easy target just to see where the gun's shooting. Let's go. Pull. Well, that's certainly shooting where I'm looking. They are good breaks. Let's have a couple more. Pull. Bit chippy, but I swing a bit fast. There we go. That's a nice gun. Smooth shooting. Really, really smooth. Pretty good, isn't it? On to some crosses. Let's see how this gun handles. Oh. Oh. So we are using the Hall Sovereign, and these are an 828, and they are nice. Pull. Oh. oh, this sun is bright, but I am not moaning. So we just had a go at those crosses. Really nice. My mistake on one of them, but I'm loving the handling of this gun. It's really nice. And that quarter and a half choke, I don't need any more than that. The brakes are absolutely spot on. So let's have a go at these. What have we got here then, Mike? Is it a board? Yeah. Pulse it up. Is it? Go for it, Let, Let's just go for it. Let's turn that on. Right, let's go for an A. Pull. Oh. That, yeah. that come right at us, that might. Huh? That come right at us. <laughs> I just looked up and there was a bird there. Right, B, pull. Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got arc eye now. Right then, C, pull. Nice, mate. Nice. Could have changed my footwork, but I didn't really have time there. D, pull. Oh. Nice. Like a driven bird. This gun handles so similar to mine. It's the same sort of weight. It is left-handed, so I can quickly mount this gun and be looking straight down it, which is exactly what you want from a shotgun. But yeah, I'm liking the handling. What have we got now? E? Yeah, off the town. Okay, guess, off the town, guessing. Oh! Oh, it's oh that's smoking them, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I have got a mixture of plastic wad cartridges and a mixture of the fibre wad cartridges. And these are going to go in my pocket, all mixed up. And what I want to prove is there's a, there's a lot of rumours going around about these DT11s that 
just don't pattern well with fiber cartridges. So now I've mixed my pocket up, I'm gonna shoot, got 10 in there, I'm just gonna shoot these clays and see if they pattern any differently. So let's have a go. Right, what I'm doing, mixing them up in me, uh, in my uh, in pocket. There you are, I'm gonna go straight in the gun, not even gonna look. And I did get them in the gun, which is quite handy. So, right, let's have two A's, Mike. Um, that is running. Okay, pull. Pull. One of each, absolute dust. Right, let's have another go in the pocket. Try and aim it into the gun. Two Bs. Pull. Oh, I think I've got them both, but I have just blinded myself again. No difference. No difference at all, is there? Felt recall maybe a little bit more on the fibre, but that's to be expected. Pull. then saying that both those fiber wads felt absolutely lovely so what are we on now my it's going to be coming up here i'm assuming in it pull last two on the e-bird pull Absolutely no difference. Shot 10 out of 10 there, and they're all good breaks. So, anyone thinking, oh, I'm not getting a DT11 because they don't like fibers, I wouldn't believe it. So, one of the key points that I've got with this Beretta DT11 is the Stelium Pro barrels. These are like Beretta's premium barrels, and they're supposed to pattern a lot better, reduce muzzle flick and things like that. It's my first time properly shooting a DT11, and I can honestly say they do pattern very well. The hits I'm getting are great. Would that be an edge in a competition? Maybe it would, more consistent patterns, breaking more targets, better scores. But I'm enjoying shooting this gun. Let's get to another stand. Right, we've just uh, watched a few lads shoot this, and they come away very disheartened. It is quite a difficult pair. Got one going away and dipping right when you want to shoot it. And there's a cheeky little rabbit in quite a small gap. So let's load up, see if we can get one or two. Pull. Pull. Ah, oh, he forgot the card. I'm not going to comment, actually. Pull. Oh. Such a good. I made that look very easy, but I think it was more look than judgment, to be honest. Pull. Oh. Oh. You, wa you want to, like, shoot over it, you don't. With this, you literally, with that one, I just push straight out in front of it and it was too much. You just got to look at it and shoot it. Pull. Nice. That hit that well as well, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Pull.
Oh. Look at that for a grouse, but hello. Just remember not to dunk your barrels on the stone wall is probably the big, big thing here. Right to left quarter in standard. Oh. Didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. Yeah. They're going away and a right to left down the hill. That's a bit different. Oh. <laughs> That's a quick nippy little bugger. Oh. Nice shooting, mate. So we are on to a nice, quick, nippy target going away and one dropping down from the right, which two very close targets. Something that most people would sort of say that this sort of gun, being heavy and long 32, is not going to perform very well on. So let's have a go, see how it gets on, or I get on. Oh. That is quick, isn't it? <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> My gun was like three meters higher than it should be. <gasps> oh, I snapped down onto them. Oh. That is... <laughs> Right to left, coming out of there. It's... It is just there, isn't it? Yeah, you, no time. You've got no time. It is get on and shoot it. Oh. I like it. I like it a lot. Handles amazingly. I really, really, really like this DT-11 and I've really enjoyed my day out of it. We're probably going to do a few more clays just to have a play, but just wanted to show you guys this gun and how it performs. I've done a review with Sporting Gun on it, so have a little read up of that if you get chance. But I just wanted to do a video and show it in the flesh, seeing as I've got it, might as well. We've had a fun day out, the sun's shining, I think it's time for a beer. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who makes these videos possible and thank you to you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and click the like button if you want to see more content like this. Stay tuned for new videos every Tuesday and finally check out the new Field Sports with Speed merchandise to help support the channel. Link is in the description below. Catch you on the next video.